Yo, mom! <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't come so early. No, no, no. Mom's probably just out, out shopping. Dad hasn't got home from work yet. Hey. How are you going to tell them you're marrying me? I don't know anything about them. I don't even know what your father does. He's a bus driver. He works for the Oakdale Transit Authority. Say, uh, you rode the bus sometime this month, didn't you? Yeah. You remember that picture they use in the ad, Driver of the Month? Your dad is the driver of the month? Yeah, you check that dude out. Now, you've got to give him the respect that he is due. <laughs> <laughs> Say, would you like some champagne? Mm, anything to calm my nerves. Hey, look, you don't have to worry about anything. I don't have to worry about anything. I've met your family just once, and now you're going to tell them you're marrying me. Mm -hmm. You're marrying me, not them. I know, but they do come with a territory. Oh, hold me. No. Uh... Say, you suppose my folks will find out that uh, this is a shotgun wedding? I'm forced to marry you. <laughs> Here you go, son. Oh, thank you, Dad. Your mother told us that uh, you think Margot's on a trip with Hal Munson. Yep. Don't you think you're jumping to conclusions? I don't know, Dad. They seem pretty thick lately. Well, they're both cops. They work together. Well, I've hardly been running into them in the line of duty. First at Margaret's place on the yacht, then at the Mona Lisa. And the other day I walk into the squad room to get a copy of Marsha Talbot's transcript, and he's got his arms around her. I just can't believe that Margot would get involved with anybody until after you... Divorce. I'm sorry. It's okay, Dad. You can come off your tiptoes. You know, from the beginning of this thing, I thought I was making Morning. a big deal out of it. Uh, Franny will be down in just a minute, I think. Thanks, Mrs. Hughes. Hello. Hi. Hello, Casey. Oh, say, I uh, heard the DA's trying to move the trial to the state capitol. Is that right? Well, he's going to try. We're going to argue the motion in chambers tomorrow morning. Good. Tomorrow morning? I thought we were going to Colorado tomorrow. Well, we are. Uh, the arguments won't take long, and I think we can probably leave by noon. Oh. You got a good judge? Yeah. Uh, a woman, Myra Fielding. A woman? Yeah, why? Oh, well, that's, that's good, probably. Right? I mean, Mrs. Hughes is a woman, too. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, don't you look pretty. Well, I'll say you dressed the kid. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, we better go. I got to get back to the Band-Aid factory. I mean, the, the, the emergency room right after we have dinner. Okay? Have a nice evening. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm just so glad that she's going out. Hey, Mom, Dad's here to get me. Uh, hi. Hi, hi. Hello, John. I don't know if you saw that article in the City Times about Marsha Talbot. I thought that was the worst yet. Yeah, we saw it. Someone was kind enough to leave it on our front porch. You being bothered by pranks, huh? Nothing we can't take care of. Dr. Hughes' residence. Yes, this is she. Who is this? Why are you saying these things to me? This is so wrong. Why? Why? Because... Because, look at us, we can't be just friends. We can't spend an afternoon together. We can't, Craig. I lie in bed at night and I think of you. Okay. I understand. I want you. Do you understand? What are you trying to do? You lie in Tonya's arms. You're thinking of me. You are. You are. Sarah. Sarah.
Why are you here? I want to stay with you. It's a recurring nightmare. I know. I know it is. You're hurting. You're too good to hurt. I can listen to. Capital. Next on most of these CBS stations. Men's Fashions by Aquascutum of London, Fifth Avenue, New York. Jewelry by Barbara Bay. This is Dan Region, inviting you to join us again Monday for As the World Turns.